Hi everybody, this is Janice, and I am here to make a card for Teacher Appreciation Week. Um, today is Monday, and I am debuting my use of and my new love <laughs> for these Avocado Arts stamps. I met the owner, uh, Michelle, at the Scrapbook Expo. And she is so sweet and so nice and, best of all, really fun-loving. I totally hit it off with her. I could see myself stamping and crafting with her <laughs> all the time. But she um, is from Minnesota, and she started this company. And I learned about it last year at the Expo, but um, I was so overwhelmed at the Expo last year, I didn't really get a chance to spend any time at this booth. Um, but this year I did, and I just sat with her, and we laughed and chatted, and she shared to, with me about the stamp club, and they have different levels. Um, I would go to the website, uh, avocadoarts.com, and just check it out. They have really a neat idea where you can also add your um, digi cuts to your membership and so every month when you get your stamp set they also send you the digi cuts and she says that you can cut them on the Cricut so I'm going to test that out and, and find out she's going to send me the digi cuts to this stamp set as well as I got this one and I made this little card there while we were sitting chatting fun um, but anyway so you're, you're supposed to be able to cut the, the digital images on your electronic die cut machine and then stamp them which is totally what I love I love that so we're gonna make this we're gonna use this for this card I made a little mask because we're gonna be doing a little bit of masking and I've got a little stamp pad here it's just a piece of fun foam and I've got my cuts I cut this from the Cricut Artiste cartridge um, Darn, I closed the book. I already tried to make this card once before. It was on page 50 something. 56? 50. Okay, I just had it. There it is, page 58. It's this, cut at 5 inches. It's the K button on the Cricut Artiste cartridge. Definitely should have this if you are a Cricut owner. Love this cartridge. Extremely versatile. I absolutely love it. I wish I had gotten it sooner. So here is my ink. I'm using this vintage sepia, Versafine ink. And the sentiment from that Avocado Arts stamp set is you brighten my day and then got this cute lamp oh my goodness her stamps are adorable I just wanted to buy like 10 of them it was horrible I was sitting there arguing with myself you know stifling myself basically but I really want to be a part of the stamp club even though, you know. Okay, and then what I did was I stamped it. This is going to be a masculine one. I have a teacher who is a man, and I don't want to make him a girly one. So I used double-sided paper, so that way it would be it would coordinate. Um, and I'm just going to score this and fold it in a second. Um, and then what we're going to do, I'm looking for my pens here. So what I did was I stamped it on my leftover piece from the inside. See, I have this one too. This is going to be a girl one, obviously. So what was left over, I'm going to go ahead and stamp this one just to show you. And I'm just inking the top part. That was a terrible stamp job. So, good thing I have left over right here from what I cut. I 
I have a really big mess here. I just haven't had time to clean up. So I'm like, it's like I'm cramming here for a final. Except it's crafting. Nope. This paper is glossy. So you shouldn't really be doing this in a hurry like I am. When you're working with glossy paper, it it slips. So you have to kind of have a steady hand down and up. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. But I already have the other one done. And then I learned that if you go around the edges, you can finish off. So it really looks like you did an excellent job cutting it out. That. And this is my new love too, these Faber-Castell artist pens. They are India ink and they are permanent. So awesome. Love that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our mask and we're going to use our Faber-Castell gelatos. And all I did was I stamped this on a sticky note and then I took a repositionable glue stick and I added glue to the rest of it so it would stay down. And then we're just going to add gelatos right here. And then we're going to warm up our finger. I learned that at my Rubber Cafe um, mixed media art class. You want to rub your finger to heat it up so it gets nice and melty. So the gelatos get nice and melty and will spread smoothly. And all we're doing is just kind of making it look like the light is just... coming out of the lamp. Okay. And really that's it. And then all we have to do is add, there's a little piece here that is bothering me. We're going to add some dimensionals. Little tiny dimensionals. To the back of the lampshade. And then I used some Sukaneko jelly roll pens, the glittery ones. These ones. I used the clear star to just add the smallest detail of glitter around this heart. They come in colors too, so we could have done this in a color. And then we're going to move this out of the way. Get our little score buddy. Isn't that cute? I love that. Really love it. Okay, so then we're going to take this and we're going to score on the little notches. Fold it back. Add some adhesive here. Oh. There's my, excuse me. Add my, I have one of those breakfast casseroles in the oven. I gotta get to school. <laughs> and then, um, and then all we're gonna do is just slip it in here. And I think I did a bad job on the scoring. It needs to be out a little bit more. So. It's just not really... It's a little more space to slide in there. This only happens when you're on video. That's okay. It doesn't. It happens in real life, too. 
Okay, so now we can slip it in there. And look how cute. So she, they can pull it down and see the little lamp. You brighten my day. And that's it. I'm going to make um, a couple more and I will be all set. So um, check this out. Check out Avocado Arts. Um, Michelle. Just go to avocadoarts.com. I'll leave the link on the bottom of this video. Um, thanks for watching everybody and remember to make your teacher's week special. Bye.